Newly released body camera video is shedding more light on how Minneapolis police responded during the unrest following George Floyd's murder. We're going to split up, drive down Lake Street. You see a roof calling out? Okay, great. Gas up. We can start that. The video shows officers firing less lethal rounds at Jaleel Stallings, a St. Paul veteran who then fired back at the police. Stallings was acquitted of attempted murder after testifying that he was shooting in self-defense. David Schumann walks us through it all. On May 30th, 2020, five days after George Floyd was killed, a group of Minneapolis police officers was patrolling Lake Street and enforcing curfew with rubber bullets. Let them have it, boys. Let them have it. Get out of here. Right there. Get him, get him, get him. Hit him, hit him. In body camera footage from the night, the officers expressed disdain for protesters and appear enthusiastic about going after them. Gotcha. This officer's congratulated after his shot. You guys are out hunting people now, and it's just a nice change of tempo. Yep, agreed. These people. In another clip, an officer impersonates the Looney Tunes character, Elmer Fudd. Be very, very quiet. <laughs> <laughs> Officers can be seen popping tires. All this video was released by Jaleel Stallings' attorney. The officers shot rubber bullets at Stallings that night, and Stallings, who had a gun he was permitted to carry, fired back three quick shots. Stallings went to the ground once officers started rushing at him, and they beat him for about 30 seconds. He was acquitted last month of eight criminal charges against him, including second-degree attempted murder. About this body camera video, all Stallings' attorney had to say was the evidence speaks for itself. An MPD spokesperson said he was unable to comment due to an ongoing internal investigation. All right, David, thank you.